Hey, good morning. How are you guys? Been off the grid for a couple of days, but been thinking about you guys, and I've got two guests with me this morning here. Who do we have over here to my left? Lexi. My daughter, Lexi, and my son, Alex. Alex. And where are we at, guys? Kauai. Kauai. Kauai, the island of Kauai. So been off the grid for a couple of days, but we've been thinking about you guys, haven't we? And we actually, you know it's exciting, uh, first day that we were here, right behind us in the water, right in front of the resort, um, somebody by the name of Bethany Hamilton was out there surfing. Who's Bethany Hamilton, Lex? Soul Surfer. Soul Surfer. She's the individual that inspired the book and the movie Soul Surfer. Do you remember what that book and that movie was about, Alex? No. you remember what happened to Bethany Hamilton? Her arm got bit off. Her arm got bit off. She was surfing here on the islands and her arm got bit off by a shark and she was already a competitive surfer on this on the surfing circuit. You know what's uh, interesting is since that time she's gone on to become literally an inspiration to millions of people around the world. I know Lexi and I went to try and go see her speak live down in Corona at a big church in Corona some time ago and literally it was a humongous church. We couldn't get into the church, couldn't get into the overflow room, couldn't get a chance to hear her speak at all. They had to literally put speakers out in front of the church for people on the sidewalk to just come and listen to her speak. So she's gone, or, gone around the country and inspired millions of people with her story of overcoming adversity and overcoming challenges and overcoming obstacles. And as good of a surfer as she was before, she had this terrible accident. She's gone on to become a much bigger name and a much, made a much bigger difference in the world as a result of the accident. So, you know, it made me think that here was something that at the moment was happening. She's being attacked by a shark and she gets her arm literally severed off. She was lucky to survive the event. If you think about this, at the moment it must have seemed like the most tragic and horrific thing that could have ever happened to her. She was wondering if she was even going to live. And she wondered if she'd ever be able to surf again. How would she paddle out through the huge waves with only one arm? And would she be able to balance? Would she have the courage to get back in the water again? And yet, that one event, as devastating and tragic as it was, inspired her. And she has now inspired millions around the country. And it's interesting how that every adversity, every obstacle holds in it really the the opportunity, the seed for even greater things on the other side if we choose to look for those things. And Bethany Hamilton, through her faith, found that strength, found that opportunity, and has gone on. And though I'm sure she would love to have that arm back, the way that it's changed her life and the way that she's been able to impact and change so many lives as a result of that quote-unquote tragedy, um, I imagine she couldn't see her life any differently today. And so my thought for today, our thought for you today, coming from Kauai, is what obstacle, what adversity are you facing today? Or what obstacle or adversity have you faced in your recent past? And maybe we're still looking at it as something that's holding us back or limiting us. And what seed of opportunity, what greatness, what opportunity to inspire others to cause great personal growth is there for you? Um, you know, I, I think every single ob obstacle that we face gives us an opportunity, much like Bethany, to rise up, to grow, to really become even more courageous and stronger than ever, and to pursue the path and the purpose that we have in our lives. And so, I hope Bethany's story inspires you, and I hope that you can ask yourself that question today. What is it that this adversity or obstacle in my life can do to inspire me to even greater things, to grow and to become the person that I'm called to be? We appreciate you guys. We're thinking about you all the time. We're having a great time here and can't wait to see you guys soon. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.